Operation Heal, uh, part one complete, glued it. Now I don't expect that to hold uh, on its own for sure. So I'm going to also tape not only this part, but probably the whole ball. All right, guys. So I made this homemade medicine ball because I figured, why not? I had an old basketball and I cut a little hole in it, poured a bunch of sand in there. It wasn't just quick, it was scooped a bunch of sand in there. So that took a while. A lot more sand can fit in a basketball than you think. So filled it up, hot glued the hole sort of back together and did my best to tape over it. But the tape really wasn't adhering that well because it's a old worn out basketball. So I also wrapped it all and sort of made the tape adhere to itself and wrapped it all together. So I'm hoping that with rigorous use, this will stay intact for the foreseeable future. I put it on the scale, it turned out to be 26.2 pounds. So it's a pretty significant ball. What I was thinking about doing with this, this might be absurd or it might be completely ridiculously easy, like relative to what I can do, but I didn't just wanna go a day without working out. By the way, it's one something AM, April the 7th, it's Tuesday. So I didn't do a vlog yesterday. So I'll just put this on the next one that I do. Yeah, you can tell my sleep schedule is not that fantastic if I'm working out at 1 a.m., but it is what it is. I don't have anything else to do. I'll fix it when I need to. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do, anyway, I'm going to do like a pyramid of Russian twists. So if you don't know what Russian twists are, when you land on your back, your feet are up and your back's up, like your torso's up, and you're just balancing on your freaking like but, and you're just twisting back and forth. I also intend to, with each twist, smash it on the ground and sort of do that. And then for each back and forth, I'm gonna count that as one. And I'm gonna do a pyramid, each five up to 20. That may not seem like a lot, but that's five, then 10, then 15, then 20, then 15, then 10, then five. So if you add that up, that's 80, it's 80. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna end up doing 80. And as far as the rest will go, I'm gonna do like, I don't know, just catch my breath basically. Ugh. Let's see. Let's see how this goes. <clears throat> this will be uh be something. All right, <clears throat> give me a second. I used to do this at the gym, not really uh, recently anytime, but like months ago before all I did was basically the barbell lifts. Sometimes if I had time after lifting and all that, I would grab a 15 pound medicine ball and basically do this. And I would try to go up and rep like sort of duration. Sometimes I did like, I think the most, maybe with 70 or 75, and that will burn you out and leave you gasping for air, which sucks obviously in the moment, but it's fun to push yourself through. And it's fun afterwards. You just feel so good when you get done with a rigorous workout. 20. <laughs> Halfway done. A little more half, more than halfway done. I've never done something like this before. I would always just do one like set, and just go really long. I always rest a lot between sets when I'm lifting or anything. Like when I'm doing the main lifts, which is just all I do basically. I'd rest like five minutes between them. So I'd do three sets of my squats, and I'd do either bench or press and rest pretty much five minutes between those and then do either deadlift or power clean. Deadlift, of course, it's one set of five. So it's only the rest you need before your main set. And then uh, power cleans is five sets of three. So sometimes I can get away with resting less than five minutes between your power clean sets because they aren't as like maximal as a slow lift, strength lift, it's a power sort of explosive lift. 
and I'm still not high enough at power cleans where I'm actually doing probably like my potential right now. Like my last power clean work sets before the quarantine were 170. For reference, I weigh like 175. And a good trained individual should be able to pretty much power clean what they bench. My bench is way higher than that. So I'm still building up, just getting the form right, getting out of it. I talk too much, rested too much. Maybe I'll put this section before the rest of the vlog, because it is before, because my vlog will be over later today, but like tomorrow, because I'll have slept. I don't know if I'll review anything. I'm out of monsters, but maybe I'll get more. Maybe I'll just not review anything. Maybe I'll just review something ridiculous that I have here, so I don't know. I'll make it entertaining. Full stretch. Big boy industries. Yeah, I'll turn this. I'm gonna drink it anyway, but I figured. I've always drank protein, not always, but I'd always try to drink some protein after a workout. I figured I'd get a workout in. A little bit of creatine. It's good for you, safe. I know when it tells you what it was. Doesn't really know what they're talking about. You can get it from your food. If you eat certain foods, so. It's not like a drug or anything. What's up guys? Vlog number nine. Took a day off yesterday because I wasn't doing anything particularly interesting and I don't just want to make super repetitive every day. Plus I didn't have a monster to review and I didn't feel like recording my workout. That'll get old very quick. So this uh today I do have a monster, the ultraviolet. I have tried this before. I do enjoy it, but I'm gonna give you a live review. So yeah, this one's good. Grape, of course. But not like grape grape. It's like grape candy. It's like, you ever had those little soda cans that are just candy? Like the little tiny ones? You open them up, there's just little tabs that taste like pop or whatever. There's a one that's grape, I think. I'm pretty sure I've had some like that, and I'm pretty sure that's what this is reminding me of. Uh, and it's good. When I first tried this a long time ago, I was pretty impressed with it. So one similarity I can draw to this is the bang purple haze, I think. Which I have over there, and that's what it's called. Which I was also a fan of because it's got that sort of same grape candy flavor. As far as rating, this might be the best one. I'm not sure if it's better than red, but I think I'm gonna rank it. I don't know. It's purple is just so unique, you know. Uh, I'm just. I think. Screw it. Nine point two. Nine point two for the Monster Ultraviolet. That is two tenths above the runner-up, which is the red. And I don't foresee uh, anyone else surpassing this as far as monster ultras go. I do have one more, the Ultra Sunrise, I think, the orange one. And I don't know if I'm going to review that because it just does not look appealing to me. I don't think I'd enjoy it. I don't like orange flavored drinks and all that. So I guess stay tuned. Maybe I will give you a review of that sometime. But if not, then... Um, this remains the champion. I live inside my own world of make believe. Kids screaming in the cradles, profanities. I see the world through ice covered in. Cross out the ones who help my cries and watch me weep. I love everything. Fire spreading all around my room. My world's so bright, it's hard to breathe, but that's alright. Hush.
Take my eyes open to force reality.